are in order for judges and justices in the federal capital territory as in 15 months from now, they would get a 40 housing unit from the federal government. This is because the FCT minister, Yesom Wike, got the go-ahead from Monday's Federal Executive Council meeting. According to him, the president, Bola Tinubu, is uncomfortable that they live in rented apartments. Well, good morning and welcome to Kakaki Social. Let's go to FEC and see the video from there. The importance of president attaches to the judiciary. Mr. Fem finds it very difficult how uh, judges and justices will be, retail, will be living in rented houses and uh, hotel apartments. That is not safe for judiciary. That is not convenient for them to do their work. And so Mr. President directed that the FCT uh, to the FCDA should immediately uh, construct um, 40 number judges and justices court at Katapay district. Now what it means is that out of these 40, FCT high court, which is like the FCT court, will have 20. The federal high court will have 10, and the court of appeal will have uh, 10. And this will be completed in 15 months time. Okay, so how did this meet netizens? For Samuel, he says, why is official Bola Ametinubu building houses for people who just increased their salaries by 300%? In another reaction, Obey says, increasing judges' salaries by 300%, that's good. Building 40 new houses for judges, he says, that's also good. But hope it's not to twist the hands of justice. And then also on um, from Twitter, from Instagram rather, Glorious Official 77 says, he says, I don't think APC is ready to leave the presidency for the next 50 years. And for Mike, he says, Jagaban for a reason. What money cannot do? <laughs> More money will do it. Judges now in bag 2027 20, to show a beg. But to think that really, they don't have houses. And he says it's not comfortable that they don't have their own houses. He must have done, you know, a need assessment, a research to come to that conclusion. Uh, Ferro says, flood victims are homeless while the federal government approves construction of 40 houses for judges. And then um, we move to more stories back to Edo State. For the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, what happened in Edo State last weekend was nothing but state capture. Reacting to the governorship election in a post on X, he says those who are responsible for election malpractices must remember that the position is not everlasting wondering why IREV and Bivas are not all engaged for election credibility. So let's see part of his tweet yesterday on the space of social media. He says, as a country, we have invested significantly in IREV and Bivas, and they must be allowed to function and used properly in order for to free our electoral process from the massive falsification that has plagued it and worsening. Then for this part, he says to the agencies and individuals being used to undermine our democracy simply because they hold positions of authority, please remember that your time in office is not internal. He says the society that you are helping to destroy today will eventually take her revenge on you tomorrow. And to the lecturers and other complicit in and others complicit in perpetrating this charade, he says, you must reflect deeply on the roles you are playing in damaging the very foundation of our democracy. Well, the, the focus for netizens yesterday was this last paragraph where he says, the damage you are causing today will inevitably take revenge on you tomorrow and affect your children in the future. So that was it, the debate making headlines yesterday that Peter Obi says, oh, okay, so let's take um, some reactions. For Toby, he says, if that's how, um, yes, he says, if that's how the election will be in 2027, he says, let's just forget it. The INEC has already written 2027 election results. The IRF portal without live collation of results is nonsense. We should be calling for electoral reform for live transmission of results from the polling unit. And then 
M. Lannister says, thank you, Your Excellency. However, continuing with the same approach and expecting different outcomes is indeed a misguided endeavor. And he says Nigeria should consider dismantling its current presidential system and adopting a parliamentary system for several reasons, including that this change could empower even the smallest minority groups to make a significant impact. More reactions to that um, post by Obi. Um, fundamental um, outcomes copy, it says, um, the one that made Alex Oti governor was credible after all, and he's laughing then, and he says, your candidate didn't win a single polling unit in the last election in Edo State. That's referring to Olumide Akwata. More stories, more thought, yeah, for Valentine, he says, weak man. Buhari led a protest when it was bad. Official Bola Ahmed Tinubu did same too. Why is you the most trusted man in Nigeria now to govern Nigeria, not leading a very big protest? He says, we are really suffering and need someone like you to step up. And we promise not to ever fail you, uh, fall to you back. And he says, um, please. Okay, now this is Olumu Yiwa Adejobi, the first um, PRO. So he had shared a video still on a Do State election on that day, and he says, Oh, what's going on? We are on standby. Um, so that should there be a situation to manage, should anyone want to be funny, we are there to, you know, come in our might. And someone reacted, Butterfly, um, uh, tweeting at Butterfly17847, and he says, APC police officer, in reaction to him. But then he quoted the tweet and he says, no police officer can succeed without the use of APC. And he says it protests, it protests, apparently protects, but he says it protests personnel on operations because it's armored and bulletproof. He says that's why it's called Armored Personnel Carriers, APC. So that's what APC stands for. But netizens legit thought that his focus basically was APC and not what he wrote later. So this user that the club has says, ah, like a shock. <laughs> Yo. So let's see um, um, written reactions to this one. So for Charles, he says it protests. Your autocorrect had to change protect to protest because of the frequent use of that word. It only shows how scared and obsessed you guys are when it comes to peaceful protesters. I've never seen a force that's more afraid of protesters than terrorists. Hmm. For Bonnie, it says, we understand you perfectly now. This validation has ended all the long-held suspicion about the neutrality of the Nigerian police force. And it says there is one thing left to be done. The APC tag <laughs> should be crested on all police uniforms to give further validation. And for Gentle Giant, of course, on the other side, it says, um, the most educated, enlightened, and passionate public relations officer the Nigerian police has ever produced. And it says, we well, appreciate your dedication to work. God bless you, sir. Absolutely. Now, this is the deputy governor of um, Ebony State, Patricia Obila, who has been captured in a viral video sharing the sum of 1,000 naira to eat of her beneficiaries. So that is it on your screen right there. Apparently, you know when they say, if you are coming to my house, drop, you see bike where they are parked, dropped there. So apparently, she came in her goodness to distribute money. And yeah, that was really the case. And people are like, ah, <laughs> hello, mom, you didn't have to do this. 1,000 naira, but you know, people will always be on both sides of the table, right? So like, 1,000 can do a thing. But let's go to Instagram and see how you reacted to this. So Inia Basi says, person where, <laughs> where wake up, wear your husband clothes. Well, we're looking forward to that too. Ugo Cash says, this video is worrisome and an eyesore. Also on Instagram, official DJ Benz, he says, nonsense. Make the people poor and hungry and give them peanut. Now tell me what 1K would do for these people. Enough it even buy one plate of food. They know the right thing to do, but we'll do it. Why not create jobs and stop impoverishing the people? And more thought from Mr. Brown.v. He says, Unati say she no know what she did do. She is using the video right away <laughs> to beg for money from United Nations. Oh my God. Anything you do right now, they are saying that you just want to document something so that you'll see what you use for grant when you go up there. <laughs>